I'm sitting with one half of the first black owned food delivery service, Black and Mobile. Your brother couldn't be with us today, David, but what's up? Hey, how you doing? How you been? Good. So what made you just wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to start my first ever black owned business? Um, it, it really wasn't just like me waking up one morning and just deciding, you know, it was a, a decision I made before, you know, to start my own business. I went to school, uh, Shippensburg University for a business. I majored in business. So I knew I was going to be a business owner, but I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, the day after Trump got elected, me and my, tw uh, me and my twin, Aaron, we were roommates and we decided to drop out and go help black owned businesses. And, you know, that was a play we made to ourselves and our community that we were going to help Black businesses and Black people any way we could. So um, I, I started working for a bookstore. And then a few months after that, I started delivering food. Someone told me I could deliver food on the bike, and I didn't believe it. So once they showed me how to do it, you know, it was just off to the races at that point. We started with Postmates, and then we started delivering for Uber Eats, and then we went to Caviar. And me and my brother would just basically use the same account. They didn't know. So, you know, we both be delivering to the same people using one account. Because you're and twins, right? Yeah, and no one can tell the difference. So that's kind of how we got started with food delivery. You know, again, Black and Mobile still wasn't in existence. The idea wasn't thought of. It was just us delivering food, trying to make money. And one week, I made like $1,100 and 30 hours of work. So, you know, I'm like, if I could make this much money delivering food in a bike, how much could I make if I own a company? So I went home. I typed in YouTube. How do I start a delivery service? Watched some videos that were very corny, but they gave me the foundation. And then I Googled. Uh, black on food delivery services. I'm just trying to see, you know, what's my competition, you know, like that's doing this. And not one thing popped up on Google. So I said, I, th I think I'm on to something, you know, started researching, like, you know, how much Uber Eats is making, how much uh, Caviar is making and, and, and Grubhub and, you know, just researching the market. And there were, there were no black on food delivery services on that level. So I literally said, I'm going to be the first one. I designed my own website, designed my own app. And, you know, that's just kind of how I got started. Just, you know, just, just using YouTube and Google. Right. So speaking of getting started, you got people who are driving, listening to this, and they're just like, I want to start my own business. I don't know which direction to go in first. What do I do? What was the first thing that you had to do, whether it was start an LLC? Like, what did you have to do to start your Black-owned delivery service? Uh, it was all about research, really. Uh, you know, the LLC didn't even come until like eight months after I came up with the idea. So, you know, if you're going to do legal business, of course, you need an LLC. But sometimes you really just need to get started. You know, like you need a website for sure. So you're going you know, you to have to get a website. I was fortunate enough to know how to do my own website. Um, I definitely recommend Shopify. Everyone using Shopify uh, for, you know, a small business. Uh, you can design your own website, hire someone for cheap. But, you know, it's really just all about the research. Uh, the proper research of your business and then getting started. You know, like too much research and, and too much trying to switch things up, that, that, that will be your downfall. You know, just you know, prove the concept. You know, if you got an idea, just start doing it, whether it's family or friends, just start doing it and prove the concept and keep building from there. Right. So I saw that you're in like, you're not just in Philly. You're not just delivering food to black owned businesses in Philly. You're also in Atlanta, Detroit. Come chime in if I'm missing something. Baltimore, Baltimore as well. Yeah, we just expanded to Baltimore. So, um, yeah, you know, after Philly in our first, it was our first, I would say, year and a half. I know, um, no, actually not even a year. It was actually a year, actually exactly a year is when we expanded to Detroit. So we were in business for a year, and then um, and then we went to Detroit, and then we went to Atlanta a few months after that, and then we uh, just uh, went to Baltimore a few months ago. So, you know, this year is really all about stabilizing the platform and making sure our technology is able to compete with the other guys, um, you know, and really, you know, just working through our tech team, we got a new Black-owned development team that we just hired. Uh, Pepsi, you know, they're, they're partnering with us and helping us support these Black-owned restaurants. So that's really, you know, our goal is to just to make sure that we can represent our businesses and our people, right? Hire people from our community, you know, the same thing. Like, we just want to help Black people and Black businesses any way we can. Right. And, you know, some people, it's hard to, you know, um, basically support black owned businesses sometimes because they think like, well, you know, why would I trust them rather than, you know, yeah. sticking with what I know? We're not even going to name the competition because it's irrelevant, but why support you instead of those other big brands? 
Yeah, I mean, I, unfortunately, I heard that a lot as well. You know, one little issue, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'm never using you again. Uh, this is why I don't support you. Um, and then, unfortunately, even from some restaurants, you know, some restaurants kind of act like that too, where it's like they feel like they're putting me on or they're helping me versus us helping each other and us trying to circulate the dollar. And then even from drivers, like from, I get it from all different areas where people feel like instead of trying to build and grow, they're helping me or doing me a favor by supporting black business. And I don't understand it. Um, it shouldn't be like that. It should really be about people just uh, wanting to work together because our people don't own or control anything. So at the end of the day, you're, you're just you know hurting yourself or a community by thinking that way. But I only focus on the people that aren't thinking that way and the people that are working with me and um, can you repeat the last part of the question? I'm sorry. Um, that was it. You basically yeah. answered it, but I also thought- I should support me, support me. I mean, the, the first thing is we're cheaper on the restaurant. So, you know, when you, when this whole thing of Uber Eats and, and, and all these different services, uh, again, I am not hating on them. If they're supporting black businesses, that is my whole mission. They can never put me out of business because my only mission is to help black businesses. If I get if I get money and get rich off of helping my people, I'd rather do it that way than hurting my people. So at the end of the day, you know, I don't hate on them for helping black businesses, but in a way, they're not really helping when they do this free delivery because I th they're still taking thirty percent. So that's why these caps have to be put in place because they're still taking thirty percent of the order. So if they're if they're doing let's say five hundred thousand uh, dollars or five hundred uh, thousand orders from black owned businesses, just regular, and then they do a free delivery and do a million. Now they're getting double the money off that 30%. The free delivery is only helping the customer save money. It's not helping the restaurant. They're still getting with that 30% fee. Oh. We're, we're, we're cheaper. You know, we charge all 15 to 20%. We've even, we even went as low as, as low as 13% during Black History Month. So we're cheaper. And then also the dollar just literally stays in our community. You know, you support me. We support the restaurant. We support the driver if they are Black. We don't just hire Black people. We don't just deliver to black people. We de deliver and hire to everyone uh, and hire everyone. But if they are black, they're independent contractor, which means that's a, they're their own business. And then the black on tech team that developed the, uh, the business or the app. So that's four black business that gets supported in one transaction. And that money stays in our community. I don't go out spending it outside the community. Like literally, I try to support a black owned business, you know, on my platform, you know, nine times out of 10, but even outside of my platform, you know, I'm supporting black businesses most of the time. So. You know, we just want the dollar to stay in our community. We want to be able to grow and even even help new black owned restaurants, uh, you know, get in business. You know, that's our next mission. You know, I can't go too much into that just yet, but just know, you know, we, we do have another business coming out that will be helping uh, just just our people, whether they have home businesses or not. You know, we want our people to open up businesses because that's the only way we can, you know, control what we're doing. Right. See, supporting black owned businesses. I'm talking to David from Black and Football. You know, David, I also saw that you were on Jay-Z and Pharrell's Black Entrepreneurs video. How did that come about? Uh, it was crazy because they they just emailed me and I didn't believe it. I pro I, I, I was about to delete they it. Knew you. I was, they knew me. The, uh, the, um, wow. Comatic, I think his name is uh, Comatic. He's the producer of, of the whole video and he, per he wanted us on the video. And I felt I never met him. I never talked to him. I never seen him. Um, you know, and they just they heard about us and they wanted us that to be. Shows that your work speak for itself when you got yeah. you know, Jay hitting you up. Listen, I, I listen. I hope he's seen it. You know what I mean? Like I just hope he's seen it. I hope he's watching. But you know, at the end of the day, regardless of who's watching, we're gonna keep going. But the email came in. I didn't believe it until they showed up with the cameras, and I couldn't believe it because they were two hours late too. So I'm like, man, this man, this ain't real. And then when they showed up, it just was unbelievable. I couldn't stop watching the video, you know. And that's just that's just something that is just, you know, we were blessed with because of the hard work that we put in. You know, a lot of people only see the success that we're having. You know, that's all they see. They, you know, they see the cities that we're in. They see that you know we're making noise, but there's a lot of stress, tears, anger, frustration, uh, uh, downfall. All all of that comes with it. You know, we lost we lost a lot of money last year, but we still like we're winning just because of, you know, how we carry ourselves. So, you know, there's, there's a lot that goes with running the business. So, you know, you right. got to go for it. Right. Well, thank you, David, for talking to me. Let the people know where they can find you, how they can support your business. Yeah, yeah. So you can find us on social media. Uh, we're, we're biggest on Instagram. Uh, everything is black and mobile. 
Uh, on Facebook, it'll be the culture delivery. You know, that's what we do. We just deliver the culture. But everything else is black and mobile. Uh, you can download our app on iOS or Android. Uh, like, you know, we are in four cities currently. So, you know, we're expanding. And like I was saying, uh, you know, earlier that we're going to be expanding to uh, Houston, D.C., and a bunch of new cities, L.A., New York. So we'll be expanding. Just follow our progress. You know, download our app until we get into your city. You can request us to come to your city, you know, and just support the movement. All right. Thank you, David. All right. Of course. Have a good one. Thank you.